Gaza, a people under siege, is the theme of uh, the address that Mr. Uh, Dr. Deanst will be doing. He's on the line with me this morning from uh, Washington, uh, which is his home. Sir, good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Who should be coming to see you and to listen to you and to see what you're going to be presenting tomorrow? Uh, basically, anybody who has interest in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict wants to learn more. Um, my presentation is going to be a visual PowerPoint slideshow with lots of digital pictures showing the reality on the ground in Gaza and uh, maps which show the dimensions of the greater Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Um, so anyone who is welcome, for sure. Both sides of the equation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Are the pictures and the story you're going to tell um, extensions of what we're seeing almost on a nightly basis on the uh, separate hour news? Uh, somewhat, although it's up close and personal. Um, some of the photos uh, range from 1985, 2003, 2006, and then this past summer w uh, when I was part of the Free Gaza movement that made maiden voyages that broke a 41-year-old Israeli siege of the Gaza coastline. And so I have pictures of all that intermixed in a narrative. You know, I find myself looking at the at the uh, those uh, film uh, footage, the footage that's coming out of there, and and I think that 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 all of us recognize that this is a, is a long-standing conflict, but it, but it, it it seemingly has taken on an incredibly ugly tone um, with the size, the the might, the power of of the Israeli retaliation. Well, and and, and I don't think a retaliation is really the right word. The disproportionate military power is astronomical, and I will elaborate on that. But for the past two years, the kill ratio has been 100 dead Palestinians for every dead Israeli. And so, um, you know, it's often couched in our media that it's some sort of equal conflict, that both sides have equal power. But, uh, but the reality is that uh, the United States has funded Israel's military war machine to the point where they're the fourth biggest military power in the world. And the Palestinians don't even really have an army. Well, and, 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 and Hamas uh, certainly is the, is the uh, instrument of, of, uh, of what is going on. If I could, though, and, and with the greatest of respect, uh, and, and this is not my own analogy, but I heard it, and it kind of stuck with me, is, is, that, is that, okay, there you are, you're standing on the street, and, uh, and somebody comes up to you with a baseball bat and whacks you on your knee. And you say, would you quit that? Uh, and then somebody comes back up to you with the same baseball bat and they whack you on your knee again and you say, listen, you know what, I'm, I, I, this is not working for me. Uh, they come back and they do it again and they break your kneecap this time. And, uh, and so then you pull out your gun and you shoot them. Uh, well, I would see it uh, differently. I think that um, the biggest uh, threat of Hamas to the Israeli population is their conscience. Um, Israel would like the, people, the one and a half million people were locked up in the Gaza concentration camp to just be quiet. Um, but before this conflict, there has been an, an, uh, a year and a half siege where Israel has cut off, in lar to the large extent, fuel, food, basic supplies, and they have pl de essentially destroyed the Gazan economy. And uh, when I was there, you see all kinds of children who are growth stunted who are 15 years old, but they look like they're 10, uh, who are suffering from severe anemia. You know, so they've basically been slowly suffocating the entire Gaza population. And so... Can, you know, I, ask, can I ask you why? Do you they want... There, though, why? What, do they want that territory? Do they want to take it back? Do they want to fold it into the Israeli, uh, you know, holdings territory? I mean, wh what's at the center of this then? Well, the, 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 the Israeli enterprise has been a slow process of ethnic cleansing. Since 1948, um, of course, at that time, three-quarters of a million Palestinians were pushed out of what became Israel. And, and actually, the population of Gaza is 80% refugees and their, and their descendants, who actually had lived in villages which, beca which were, became Israel. And, so, and, and similarly in the West Bank, um, Israel has settlements. Israel's building an annexation barrier that's confiscating more and more land. So there's a slow persistent process to try to push the Palestinian people out of their traditional homelands. And, and, and it's quite akin to, to South Africa under apartheid. I was starting to hear it's some, some parallels. Yeah. Oh, it's, it, in many ways, it's much worse than the, the apartheid government ever was in South Africa. 
Um, South Africa didn't use high technology to do targeted assassinations that would wipe out their, victor, their intended target plus 20 other innocent bystanders. That goes on in Gaza all the time. And so it's unlike, it's, it's for us to expect that the, the Palestinians, that 100 percent of them are never going to react violently, which has a ploy of not negotiating with whoever's in power. Right. Uh, Doc, Dr. 20, Deep, 20 years ago, Doctor, it was Doctor, PLO, I'm, I'm would, totally, I'm, 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 I'm out of time here. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, Dr. Bill Deanst is uh, going to be here tomorrow, uh, Saturday. It is the 7th of February, 1 o'clock at the Unitarian Church. Uh, the Kelowna Peace Group is uh, hosting him here to give a PowerPoint presentation. Gaza, uh, people under siege. Uh, he's been in and out of Gaza many times. Admission is free. And so if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to explore what's happening, have a greater understanding of what's happening, uh, Dr. Bill uh, Deanst will be there. We talked to him this morning from his uh, home down in Washington. I appreciate his time here this morning.